So I just received the first Easy Rider 3. I'm gonna inspect it. The second one is right here. I'm gonna just take the box off and inspect it real quick. Yep. Now I'm gonna unwrap it and see what the next step will be. Unbox everything. You'll need a set of metric hex wrenches to make these adjustments. So I'm gonna start with that. Once it's loose enough, you'll be able to move it to the position you would like. For moving the seat forward and backwards, you have this lever and you can now, it's already forward, but you can move it back. Just like that. If you need to move it more forward, the seat, there's these two bolts so you can actually slide the whole seat forward. With a smart display, loosen these two screws with the number three hex wrench and then install it onto the handlebar, tighten up the bolts, and then connect the cable to the smart display. There's a little notch there and you need to line that up with the cable. Make sure it's nice and tight for proper operation. Before I tighten up the screws, I'm going to connect the cable. And once the cable is connected, I will adjust it to where I would like to like it and tighten up the bolts. The notches should line up and will insert properly. And then when you tighten the collar, it will be a nice, secure, snug fit, just like that. The best part is this adjustable stem. It's amazing how many different positions you can get it in. To adjust the steering column and handlebars, press this button, lift up the lever. You need to go in the lower positions. Um, I have here the number six. And you have to line this up, it is tricky. You have to get it in a position where you can definitely feel it. There it is. I'm in there. And once it's in there, you can definitely feel it. And I'm going to turn this just a little bit to the minus. I can move this in or out. And I can also straighten the handlebar to the position it needs to be in. You might have to loosen the parking brake and lower it as you do it if you want to have it pulled out closer to you because the wires definitely are stretched then. And then um, from there, you slide that down, tighten it back up, put this in the position you want. I'm going to get it nice and tight right here, so right about there. Alright, the handlebar positioning, what feels comfortable. Like I said, it can tilt all these different directions. Much forward, further back, down. Right about there. Hit the lever, squeeze the button, connects. So if you raise the handlebar a little bit to make it closer to the rider, you want to make sure you loosen the parking brake and lower it down a little bit, otherwise the parking brake is going to grab. Put back in and straighten everything out. It is a tricky adjustment, uh, but once you got it, best to have another person kind of help you out. And then like I said, um, now that I raised that, pull out the handlebar a little bit, I'm going to uh, Loosen the bolts for the parking brake so it doesn't stretch the cable. If you ordered the optional mirror, now is a good time to put that on. The mounting bracket is already on, so it's uh, positioned towards the back. I will uh, loosen the bolt and tighten the bolts onto the handlebar. Installing the mirror, it's recommended to have metric tools. And the wrench I used was a number 13 to uh, tighten up the bottom bracket. Installing and removing the battery. So first I'm gonna remove the battery. This is magnetic, so this came right off. You can feel the magnet there. So it's properly positioned. Putting in the key, turn it, and you have to sometimes push in. Not sometimes, all the time. <laughs> Pulling it out, there it is. Putting it back in, I'm gonna take the key out. Line it in, and I like to get a nice hard push to make sure it connects, right like that. Now that I have 
everything connected. Here's the charger. I can connect it nice and easily magnetically. Just wants to connect. Now that the bike has all the installed components and everything looks good and tight and you read the manual, just want to show you, this is the locking mechanism for the front wheel. You don't want to touch the uh, disc brakes at all with your fingers. Um, there you can pump up your tires to the proper pressure. Looks like uh, max 73 PSI. I'm gonna come around and power it up for the first time. So I had it once, I was thinking, I selected it again and it powered up. All five lights are on, it did its cycle, it started up and all you have to do is release the parking brake right here. We can adjust the, the gears right here, it has eight gears, all internal shifting and we're ready to take our first test ride. So here's the Van Ram Easy Rider version 3, the newest ones that came out for 2021. I have the uh, medium frame on the right and the large on the left. And I do have them lined up pretty well. And you can see the large is definitely a lot larger, at least by eight or nine inches. You can actually fit somebody on the large that's close to seven feet, I believe. Where the smaller or the medium frame, somebody about six foot three could handle even the medium frame, and I'll show you that in a minute. Here you can see the motor in the back with the shock, adjustable seat, and this seat can go pretty far forward, both of these, and the nice rack on the back. To make it easy for charging, Instead of bending down and charging, there's an extra cord that comes back and connects to here for a higher charge port. Got the battery back here, integrated lights, adjusting the back rest, just right there. The seat can actually move forward and backwards by loosening these two screws on each side. And then right here is the lever to uh, move the seat forward and back. But you can also move the platform of the seat forward or back. As you come to the front, you got the eight speed internal gearing, the controller, really nice adjustable steering mechanism. You press that and it can literally go up, down. The, um, the steering kilometers, uh, the, the handlebar can tilt itself all different angles. The bell, we added a mirror, the brake system. But the very nice thing is the steering control. And somebody five foot could definitely use this one. Here, not bad. I think somebody that's six foot two, six foot one, possibly even six feet. I wouldn't want to go lower than six feet for the large. So I have the seats in the back most position. I'm gonna six foot three, so I'm gonna show you the fitting. I'm gonna get on here, six foot three, and my leg length. You can see I have pretty good extension. And this is about as tall as you want to be on the medium. Might be able to be six foot four even. As they come over to the large in the furthermost position. Whoa, look at that. Oh, look 
at that distance. I could be like seven feet tall. Not too heavy. Right around six feet. So you need to get into an elevator. That's where you're looking at. 